Hello, Tax Knuckles viewers. This is the review of the HTC One X. Now, this is an amazing phone. I switched this a few days ago from an iPhone iOS to this Android device, HTC One X. It's the first time I use an Android dev uh, Android device in the Android software, and I'm pretty impressed with it. Now, the and the Android is pretty harder to learn than the iOS because the iOS is pretty simple, one of the easiest. Um, so it took me a while to actually understand the Android, but not so many, you know, minutes or hours, just a few seconds actually, and I got used to it. Now, it's got an 8 megapixel camera here, which is pretty amazing, and the flash with a proximity sensor, which means that if it's too close, the flash won't be so bright, which is pretty cool, which is a problem the iPhone has. When it's still close, it still flashes really, really bright, so you don't really get a picture of what it is, just white color. It's got the logo here in the back, Beats Audio, which is, I don't understand. I did hear some music here, and then you can turn off Beats Audio, but not much different, actually. Just the volume seems to go lower, and a little bit of the bass doesn't pump in your ears as much as the normal one. So, as Beats Audio, sorry. And so you got here speakers and, you know, some don't throw away, don't put in garbage. You got the volume buttons right here, 3.5 millimeter jack. Um, the power on-off thing. Um, the SIM card. Now, this is just like the iPhone. I hope you can see this here. And you just put the pin in there. It comes out, pops out. In there. Mini USB charger where you plug your USB. Yeah, speaker, speaker, whatever. So let's get to the device and software here. So it's got this capacitive buttons right down here, capacitive touch buttons. They're pretty cool, actually. They work perfectly nice. They're responsive. Now, this has got a quad core here, so this is really good responsive phone. As you can see, these effects work perfectly. This is an amazing display. Uh, it looks much better than the iPhone, and it is. Now, there's some issues that when you press on the side, there's some color that goes in there, but this doesn't seem to be an issue with mine. Maybe just some out there might have an issue with that, but mine doesn't. Mine is the gray version, but it's kind of black. It doesn't really look gray. Now, in here, I have, you know, personalized my lock screen. I can easily ac access these icons. Now, you do not have, these will not be the original icons that come uh, in the phone when you first open. You can, you know, customize it by customizing the bar down there, which I'll just show you in a minute. Let's just unlock this. Now, this has got f uh, face unlock, which is pretty cool. It comes with Android 4.0, which this device comes with. And it works really good. You can even improve it if it doesn't work with your new haircut. But I don't want to do that, so you can just click down there to get this cool, you know, Unlock pad. Now, I was using this recently and it's not currently working very good because I kind of confused, but there it is. Now it's working. So, this is the bar I was talking about. You can just switch icons here, you know, take this out, put what's out there, and then when you lock it, those that icon will be there instead of Google Chrome. Now, I've been using Google Chrome as my default browser, not because it's better or anything, it just works more smoother, and I do like. Chrome logo instead of, you know, the world with those things there. Now, this is the best thing about Android is you can customize it. So, you, this clock here, I like it, but if you don't like it, you know, you can just come here, just hold the home button, the home screen, and you got millions of clocks right here now. If you want a clock here, you got millions of clocks, you can just, you know, add it right there if you want to. But I do pr like this clock, but you can easily remove it if you don't like it. Now, it's, this clock is cool because it's also got the weather here. And the home screen is pretty cool. It's got this 3D effect here that HTC Sense puts in there, integrated with Android. HTC Sense adds these extra spicy things, spices to it that looks cool. It also takes a lot of memory from it and also it's supposed not to be that's a bad thing about HTC Sense it always makes the phone a little bit laggy but since it's a quad core phone it doesn't really make it laggy it responds perfectly really quick as you can see here it's a menu it's also got some effects here 
response is pretty good. Uh, this phone, the cool app about this phone and the, you know, what made it so cool was the, also the advertising campaign they were making about the photographic student. I don't know if you've seen that, but if you go to, you know, HTC.com, you can see the advertising, which the camera is supposed to be the main cool feature. And it is pretty cool. As you can know, this camera is, can take millions of shots in a few seconds. Then you can just choose the ones you like, or you could just, you know, delete all of them, like I'm going to do here. And you could also film and take pictures. 